What is up, y'all? Cheeseburger TWR is back for another cheeseburger review. Round 94. <laughs> Fight! There we go, baby. We're back. It's cheeseburger time. A lot of you didn't like my little Easter basket challenge last week. Thus, uh, here we are. On we go. Back to cheeseburgers. I did go ahead and Uber Eats. They keep giving me these 40% off deals where if I order $25 worth of stuff, they will keep feeding my fat face. As you can see, I am large and in charge and uh, looking swimmingly as ever. But yes, I did order from Granite City Food and Brewery. Uh, it's in Troy, Michigan. So it's a bit of a hike and the Uber Eats driver had... Uh, a, another order in front of mine. So this may have been sitting for a bit, but we shall see. Uh, let's take a look at the bag and the customization. The folks in the Oakland County still rocking it for your boy, Cheeseburger TWR. Cheeseburger TWR, enjoy, baby. You know it. So yeah, we'll take that. Thank you for the great customization. Uh, fantastic stuff. So I did get a little something uh, a little different here. I say little a few more times, Tubby. But yes, uh, I did get the Gastro Pub Bison Burger. So this thing has North Dakota bison represent that Louisiana purchase, baby. So yeah, so we've got bison and we've got uh, provolone cheese, arugula, and roasted <laughs> roasted garlic aioli on a pretzel bun. And yes, yeah, so we'll just take a look here. Bun on the top, falling uh, burger on the bottom. And then uh, I did get garlic mash for the side. Uh, it's quite garlicky, which is very good. Um, yeah, and it's more of like a smashed potato. It's not like totally mashed. I mean, as you can look, it's got a nice all of the... Um, uh, some of the red skins in there too. So um, my buddies are confirming that the Chicago Cubs game that we want to go to is still good to go. So I still need to set that up. Pat and Lee, I can't wait to see you guys. And uh, yeah, soon we will do, be doing some uh, Chicago entries into the cheeseburger TWR. But uh, again, we'll take a look here. The bun is quite hard. Again, this has kind of been sitting for a little bit. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, again, we got some some of that aioli on the bottom, and then I will go ahead and unbutton here for you. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not eating that top bun. I'm pretty sure that's mold. You guys see that? I am pretty sure that that's mold. See right here, right here. Uh, that's mold. That's mold. I might ask for my money back on this one. Um, it's a good restaurant too. So like, that's weird. Like. That's mold. Mold. Thank you for the mold. Um, normally I am adventurous and will get after this, but uh, yeah, take your mold and fucking stuff it. Okay, so we'll see how the rest of this goes. It's already strike one. Uh, bottom bun looks decent, or else they just burned off all the mold off of that one. Um, yeah, so we've got the provolone cheese here. We've got this beautiful bison patty and then underneath, we've got all of that uh, arugula and the roasted garlic aioli on this. So uh, no top bun. Uh, definitely another first in cheeseburger TWR lore. Um, I guess I don't really have a lot to say to this. Uh, I don't believe I've ever been to this place maybe one time before. But uh, if they keep serving moldy buns... Um, we won't be going there, but yeah, so here we go. Uh, two thirds of a burger, if you will. If you will. So, cheers, two chomps to you, Alonzi. Happy cheeseburger TWR Tuesday, my shtickheads, and uh, let's get after it. There we go. Supposed to be medium well, I believe. It's uh, medium. Huh. My favorite drinky, as you know. Oh. I had some cranberry juice before, too, so. 
stomach's rumbling a bit. Maybe it's from the mold, though. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take a look here. Um, yeah, the burger is pretty good. It's got a little more chew to it since it is bison. Uh, you get a little bit of gaminess. Not too bad. It's very similar to beef. Um, the garlic aioli is very garlicky. I mean, obviously, aioli is just kind of a different word for mayo, so you do get a lot of that mayo taste. Uh, that arugula is very fresh, so um, going to go ahead and take maybe another bite or two. Uh, this one for sure, that's a nice juicy, meaty bite here, so... Just wanted to make sure there was no more mold on there. Um, yeah, um, I feel like the, the, the burger needs a little acid to cut the, uh, the garlic aioli. It's just kind of one note, you know, you get kind of that, the creamy mayo aioli on there. Uh, the arugula adds a nice little, uh, greenery and, um, some, uh, little, little pepperiness to it. Again, that the beef patty, the bison patty... Uh, it's got some chew to it. Uh, got a really nice flavor. They flavored it up really nice with salt and pepper, and I think just kind of the natural flavor of the meat. Um, overall, though, like I'm not really impressed uh, all that much. The um, that bun, like that, that just kind of did me in. And uh, strike one. Excuse me. Post game bell. Strike two, and whatever else. Um, What am I going to give this? Um, I'm going to take one more bite. So I always do this to you guys. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, my show. Cheers. But not cheers. It's my show. That bun is really... The bun's old, obviously, so... You know what, I guess I'll still be generous with this. We'll go top 15, so a big old three, three out of five. Uh, again, uh, very generous considering considering there was mold on that bun. I, I'm going to get it for you again. I mean, there's mold on the MF, man. It's mold. It's mold. I feel like Gordon Ramsay. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's mold. We're not doing that here, pal. I'm not trying to die today, bud. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully you like this content. Again, three out of five, top 15. Um, Granite City, I won't be back. But with that said, hopefully you will be back to see me, to see yours truly. And uh, go ahead and give me that big thumbs up and smash the like button down below. And uh, you know how we do here. Give me your best hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Ho! Smash that like button, subscribe, uh, comment below. Uh, have you ever been to Granite City or uh, had a moldy burger or whatever? You know what? Screw this. I'm lowering the score. This is top 20. I'm not letting that fucking moldy bun pass over. That's BS, baby. Top 20, two out of five. Two out of five. That's it. This is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Be memorable or be forgotten. Love you, my stickheads. Take care. Bye-bye.